hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself today we are going to learn how to make these uh, calla lily 3d flower coasters i have already made a few other patterns of 3d flower coasters if you want to check them out uh, please visit my channel and check out the crochet coasters playlist you will have all the 3d coasters uh, 3d flower coasters in them so let's get started so I have already made these two coasters in uh, different uh, colored uh, flower and different colored coaster background. This one I'm going to use white as the coaster background. So using a white yarn, make a magic ring and chain one. So once you have chained one, you can take this magic ring out of your fingers. And into the magic ring we are going to make 10 double crochets so while we are making these double crochets I would like to share the information that the details on the hook size the yarn use and all the other items needed for today's project will be available in the description of this video so do refer to the description a part of this video as well so here I'm making the this is the second double crochet the third double crochet the fourth double crochet also the chain one that we did at the beginning uh, of uh, this magic ring will not be counted as a stitch so only the double crochets made after that that is a 10 double crochets will be the ones that are counted as a stitch so uh, you will be making 10 double crochets into the magic ring now pull the after you're done making the 10 double crochets you will be pulling the tail yarn and closing the magic ring so pull the tail yarn as tight as possible and close the magic ring now to begin the next round we will be slip stitching to the top of the first stitch so this is the stitch that is the first stitch of this uh, particular round just insert your hook under that same stitch and make a slip stitch and we're going to after so make a slip stitch and after the slip stitch we'll be chaining one again now this chain one doesn't count as a stitch as well so for all the rounds the chain one will not count as a stitch now for round two the pattern is to make an increase in each stitch so we'll be making two double crochets in each stitch so into the first stitch itself make the first double crochet and then make the second double crochet also into the same stitch now similarly into the next stitch again you'll be making two double crochets so make one double crochet first into the next stitch and then make a second double crochet into the same stitch so we'll be repeating this pattern of making two double crochets or an increase in each stitch and by the end of this round you should have a total of 20 double crochets since in the previous round we had 10 double crochets mm -hmm. so continue this pattern till the end of this round and so repeat this pattern till the end of this round so we have reached the end of this round and here too similarly we will be slip stitching to the top of the first stitch so insert your hook into the first stitch and then make a slip stitch and you're going to chain one again now this chain one again doesn't count as a stitch here the pattern is to make one double crochet into the first stitch so we're making the first double crochet in the first stitch and we're going to make an increase in the second stitch so in the second stitch we'll be making two double crochets this is the first double crochet and we'll be making one more double crochet into the same stitch so we'll be repeating this for the rest of the stitches so make one double crochet in one stitch and make two double crochets in the next stitch 
so repeat again one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch so we'll be repeating this pattern till the end of this round and by the end of this round you should have a total of 30 double crochets so let's meet at the end of this round as you repeat this pattern till the end so here we are at the end of this round and we are going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch as usual and after the slip stitch we are going to make a chain one so for this round we have a pattern but in between we will be adding the green section as well so there might be a slight change so first we're going to do repeat uh, the pattern that we're going to do we'll be making one double crochet each in the first two stitches and in the third stitch we will be making an increase so this is the second stitch so we're making a double crochet here as well and in the third stitch we will be making an increase so in the third stitch we are now going to make two double crochets so this is the first double crochet and this is the second double crochet now the for the next two stitches the pattern will be a little bit different because we're going to use the green yarn here so first we're going to make one double crochet and in the next double crochet instead of a full double crochet we'll make a partial double crochet a partial double crochet so just pull through the first two set of loops alone and when you have two loops in the hook we're going to just leave it as it is now we're going to take the green yarn and you can take the hook out of the two loops and using the crochet hook make a slip knot now this slip knot green slip knot we will be pulling it through the two loops in white so these two loops insert your hook back into the two loops and now pull the green loop through it so we are basically changing a color here and so just pull it through the two loops now in the next stitch instead of a double crochet which is the usual pattern using this green yarn we will be making uh, two double crochets and one partial double crochet so this is the first double crochet and whenever we are making a partial double crochet it's mainly to change the color so this is the second double crochet and for the third double crochet we'll do it partial because we're going to change back to the white yarn and all this time make sure to uh, hold the white yarn below these stitches so you're carrying over the white yarn while you're making the green stitches so now switch to the white yarn and pull this white yarn through the two green loops so we have three double crochets in green and we have switched back to the white yarn now you do not have to carry over the green yarn and we'll continue with the pattern with the white yarn so make first two double crochets and then one increase so this is the first double crochet now make the second double crochet and now in the third stitch make an increase so make two double crochets in the same stitch so this is one double crochet and this is a second double crochet now the next two stitches as usual will be a little bit different so we'll make first one double crochet and instead of the second double crochet we will do a partial uh, double crochet in white because we will be changing the color to green again so just insert your hook and pull through and pull through two loops alone and while you have still two loops in the hook you will be taking the hook out and then making a slip knot using the green yarn now since we have already used the green yarn for the previous section what we're going to do is we're going to leave a long tail so leave a long tail it's always better to have excess uh, than to have uh, less amount of yarn so keep enough uh, yarn and then trim off so with this yarn now we're going to make a slip knot so if you want to make only one flower you need not do this part so as you can see in the starting i had made a uh, one coaster having only one flower if you want only one flower you need not do this step alone uh, and you can continue with just uh, one green section 
now this pattern is for the two uh, lilies in it so this is for the second lily so here we'll do exactly what we did for the previous green section we will pull this uh, slip knot through the two loops in white and now in the next stitch as per the pattern we generally make a uh, increase here but instead we'll be making three double crochets and the third double crochet will be a partial one and while you do that make sure to stitch over the uh, tail yarn that is a green tail yarn and the uh, white yarn that we will be carrying over so this is the first double crochet in green the second double crochet in green and the third double crochet will be a partial one so pull a loop under the stitch and pull through two stitches uh, two loops alone and when you have two loops in the hook uh, switch the color to the white yarn and pull the white yarn through both the loops now you do not have to carry over the green yarn because we will use the green yarn later and for the remaining part of the coaster uh, sorry the, for the remaining part of this row you will be repeating the pattern of one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the second stitch and an increase in the third stitch so here this is the third stitch so you will be making an increase here so make two double crochets in this stitch again repeat this pattern of making one double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and in the third stitch make an increase so repeat this till you reach the end of this round so it won't matter like at what stitch you end like whether you're ending it with an increase or you're ending it with a double crochet uh, just continue this pattern till you reach the last stitch of this round now after the last stitch we'll be slip stitching to the top of the first stitch again as usual so insert your hook under this uh, two loops and then make a slip stitch and then chain one this chain one doesn't count as a stitch now for this uh, next round the pattern will be uh, to make three double crochets in the first three stitches and in the uh, fourth stitch we'll be making an increase so into the very same stitch where we chain one make one double crochet so this is the first stitch so this is the second stitch make the second double crochet the third stitch make the third double crochet and into the fourth stitch make an increase now after this the pattern will change a little bit because we will be adding the part with the flower so we have two more white stitches so in the first one make one double crochet and into the next one which is right next to the green uh, section you'll be making a partial treble crochet so for treble crochet yarn over twice insert your hook under the loop pull through the first set of two loops pull through the second set of two loops and now when you have two loops in the hook you will be changing the color so before changing the color uh, the, so for the change of color here I am using off-white color you can also use a pink color I hope you do not confuse because the white and off-white looks quite similar I should have used uh, maybe different color yarn so that it was easier to show you the stitches but my bad I have already started this tutorial with this but I'm hope I hope that you're able to distinguish it so with this off-white color you make a slip knot first and then you're gonna chain six so in this uh, chain of six we will be making the front part of the flower and then we'll be attaching it to the coaster so now on the fifth stitch from the hook you'll be making one treble crochet so yarn over twice insert your hook into the fifth stitch and then pull through 
the first set of loops first then the second set of loops and the third set of loops now into the sixth stitch or the last stitch from the hook we'll be making another treble crochet so insert through the sixth stitch and pull through the first set of loops the second set of loops and the last set of loops now this section is a front part of the flower and this will be attaching it to the coaster and make the remaining part of the flower so for that we'll be first inserting our hook into these two uh, partial treble crochet stitch and then we will be pulling this loop of this front part of the flower so we'll be pulling this loop through both the loops of the coaster and now we will be making one double treble crochet so to make a double treble crochet yarn over three times and now when you're inserting the hook into the green stitch we will be also be inserting it through the base of this last treble crochet of this uh, front part of the flower so this will make sure that this front part gets attached to the coaster as well now you will be inserting your hook next into the green stitch here so this part might be a little bit complicated but this is necessary to attach the flower so insert it through the uh, base of the treble crochet through the green stitch and make sure you're having the carry over yarn behind as well now pull through the first set of loops then pull through the second set of loops the third set of loops and the fourth set of two loops so this is a double treble crochet we'll be making another double treble crochet in the same green stitch and this time we do not have to pass it through the uh, base uh, treble crochet so just you can just pass it through the green stitch but always make sure whenever you're working on the green section we are carrying over the uh, white yarn as well because we will need the white yarn after the end of uh, stitches of this section so make the second double treble crochet in the same stitch now into the middle green stitch so we have three green stitches into the middle one we'll be making one double treble crochet first but we will be working here only in the back loop so a stitch has two loops and this is the back loop so in th insert through the back loop and make sure you are also working on top of the carry over white yarn and then first make a double treble crochet in a similar manner where you pass through two loops at a time and we do this for four times so this is the first double treble crochet where we're working only in the back loop now this is the second double treble crochet and pull through the four set of loops or two loops at a time and on top of the second double treble crochet we'll be making a chain two pico so to make a chain two pico first you will be chaining two and after that insert your hook into the base two loops of this chain two and make a slip stitch so we'll be making one more double treble crochet into the same uh, back loop so just pass through the same uh, like the sets uh, four sets of uh, two loops and now into the last green uh, stitch here we will work on the entire stitch make first one double treble crochet and the next one instead of a double treble crochet we will be making a chain of four because we want uh, our final stitch to be at the base so after this double treble crochet uh, we'll be making a chain of four instead of another double double treble crochet and slip stitch to the same stitch and after this we're going to chain six similar to what we did at the beginning of this flower where we uh, made the front part of the flower and attached it similarly we'll be making the front part of the other half of the flower so we'll repeat the similar pattern of chaining six first and on the fifth stitch from the hook we will be making a treble crochet 
So for a treble crochet, you will be passing through three sets of loops. So this is the first set, this is the second set, and this is the third set. Now make another treble crochet on the sixth stitch from the hook. So this is the first set of stitches, the second set of stitches, uh, sorry, and a third set of uh, two loops. And now, uh, similarly, we will have to attach this section also to the flower. So to attach it, first we are going to turn this section this way so that the last treble crochet is facing the flower and we'll insert our hook into this first chain of the chain four so we have chain four into the topmost chain we'll be inserting our hook next we'll insert our hook into the loop of this uh, section and now we are also going to switch color so change color to white uh, that will be we had been carrying over so far and now pull a loop using the white yarn through both these stitches so pull through first this loop and then pull through this uh, top chain as well so as you can see we have pulled it through both you don't have to carry over any yarn under the next few stitches so next we are making a treble crochet so reason we are making a treble crochet here is because we do not want to directly from a double treble crochet move into a double crochet there will be a lot of difference in the height and next we make a double crochet followed by another double crochet and after that we make an increase so make an increase in the fourth stitch now since we're going to add another flower so again we make a double crochet first and then we'll be making a partial treble crochet so yarn over twice pull a loop under the stitch pull through the first set of loops the second set of loops and when you have two loops in the hook we will just leave it so now before we make the next flower in a similar fashion uh, we will be uh, completing the previous flower so for that we can use a stitch marker uh, insert it through both these loops and keep these loops secure we'll be working on them later now this off-white color will be trimming off after leaving a long tail yarn you can use a needle to thread it in and now uh, the tail yarn you can bring it to the front side because we will use this tail yarn to stitch the front part of the flower and uh, what I like to do is you can directly start uh, uh, threading your yarn to the front part but I wanted to stitch it just over this connecting stitch to make it more secure so I just passed it through it once there's no right or wrong way on doing this the main uh, idea is to uh, pass the yarn through few of the stitches such that it reaches the front part of the flower so when I mean the front part I mean the chain four stitches that is at the front part of both the flowers so there is another tail yarn here which I'm going to hide it here I'm using a smaller crochet hook and pulling the tail yarn towards the back side because this back side has these uh, thick stitches through uh, where I can hide this yarn better so I'm just pulling it through a few of the existing stitches on the back side of the coaster and once I feel that this tail yarn is secure I'm trimming it off now on the front side before we uh, connect the front part of the flower i'll be adding the stamen so to make the stamen use a yellow yarn and make a slip knot first with it and this uh, yellow yarn if you remember we had worked only in the back loop of this middle green stitch so the front loop is available and into this front loop we'll be pulling this uh, slip knot in yellow and then we are going to chain five so chain one chain two chain three chain four and chain five now starting from the second stitch from the hook we'll be making slip stitches over this entire chain so you'll have four stitches left so make 
four slip stitches over the four chains. Second, the third, and the fourth one. So after the fourth slip stitch, you can make a slip stitch over the uh, front loop that is the green yarn as well. And then you can chain one and trim off the yellow yarn. Once you trimmed it off, the remaining, uh, there is no hard and fast rule. You can place a few knots or you can stitch in the yellow tail yarn into the yellow section. Uh, you can also place some knots and then uh, dab a bit of glue to make sure that the uh, ends do not come off. So here I'm just placing a few knots. Uh, since because there is not enough section to stitch in the tail yarn and I'm trimming it off and I'm going to dab a bit of glue later on. So once the stamen is added, now we can stitch in the front part of this lily. So there is no particular stitch count as it is. We, uh, I'm just going to stitch this bot, uh, like the front bottom part so that it curves this way. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my needle on the other side of the flower and then pass it through this section. Just make few stitches over uh, connecting both the sides together till the uh, base. So ma keep making these stitches until the entire front part or the bottom part is uh, connected together so once the entire this bottom uh, front section is connected you can just uh, stitch through few of the existing stitches and hide the tail yarn so the best way to hide the tail yarn is on the back side because there we have this uh, thick stitches so pass it through few of the existing stitches and then once you feel that the yarn is secure, you can trim off the excess yarn. You can also trim off this green tail yarn which has already been stitched in. So as you can see, the lily flower here is ready and it looks quite pretty here. Uh, in a similar manner, we are going to create the second uh, lily flower in the coaster. It is up to you how many uh, lily flowers you want to add. The pattern will basically be the same for all. So here uh, with this off-white color, I'm going to first chain six. So chain one, chain two, chain three, four, five, and six. Now into the fifth stitch from the hoop, we're going to make first one treble crochet. So this is basically the same exact same pattern that we did for the previous flower. So into the fifth stitch, make one treble crochet. And into the sixth stitch or sixth chain from the hook, make another treble crochet. Now this uh, part of the flower, we are going to connect it to the coaster. So for that, we will first insert our hook into the partial uh, uh, treble crochet that we had made. So insert your hook into both these two loops and now pull this loop of the flower through it. So pull this loop through both the loops. And now we are going to make a double treble crochet but this double treble crochet we will not only make it on the first green stitch we will also make it through the base of the uh, treble crochet here so insert it through the base of this last treble crochet that we just made so this will help in connecting the front part of this flower to the coaster and now insert it through the first green stitch and over the uh, carryover white yarn and now pull through 
two loops at a time and do this four times to complete your double treble crochet so this is the first double treble crochet the second double treble crochet you will make it into the same green stitch but this time you do not have it have to insert it through the base of the treble crochet so you can directly in, insert it through the stitch and then make the second double treble crochet now into the middle green stitch you will be making uh, three double treble crochet for the but you'll be making working only on the back loop so here insert your hook into the back loop and over the carryover white yarn and then make the first double treble crochet and now make the second double treble crochet so on top of the second double treble crochet we will be making a chain to picot as well so first make the stitch and once you're done with this stitch you'll be making a chain to picot on top of it so for that first chain two insert your hook into the base two loops and make a slip stitch make another double treble crochet in the same stitch and now into the third green stitch we will be first making one double treble crochet and after this uh, double treble crochet we'll be making a chain four so chain four and slip stitch back into the same stitch and now uh, chain six and into the fifth stitch from the hook make a treble crochet and next into the sixth stitch from the hook make another treble crochet now this section will be connecting it to the uh, flower section in the coaster so uh, insert your hook into the first chain of the chain four stitch that we made so insert your hook under these uh, two loops these two loops of this first chain and uh, turn your uh, work uh, turn your this section this way and insert your hook into this top loop as well and now through both these stitches you will be pulling a loop using the white yarn of the coaster so pull a loop through both these stitches and now into the next uh, stitch make one treble crochet and next make a double crochet so you can uh, trim off this uh, off-white yarn uh, leaving uh, some length uh, to be used later for stitching the front, front section so after the treble crochet you're making a double crochet in the next stitch uh, making another double crochet in the third stitch and then we're making an increase in the fourth stitch so uh, 
we'll be repeating uh, the similar pattern instead we'll use all double crochets and no treble crochets here forward so make uh, three double crochets in the first uh, three stitches and this is the third double crochet and after this make an increase on the fourth stitch so make two double crochets on the fourth stitch so we'll be repeating this pattern till we reach the last stitch of this round so the pattern remains the same that is uh, one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the second stitch one double crochet in the third stitch and an increase in the fourth stitch so repeat this till you reach the last stitch and this will be basically the last round of the poster so we'll complete this uh, round and after that we will complete the flower and then we'll work on the uh, uh, branches and the green using the green section so once you reach the last stitch you're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and then we're going to chain one pull the yarn tight to make a knot and then trim off now uh, these uh, white tail yarns we're going to stitch it in so just pass the yarn through few of the existing stitches you can use a needle or a smaller crochet hook and once it is uh, secure trim it off similarly we have a tail yarn at the center of the coaster so using a smaller crochet hook pull this as well through a few of the existing stitches and then trim it off now we are going to complete the second lily so for that we're going to add the stamen to the middle uh, green stitch so working on the front loop we are going to pass the slip stitch through it and the pattern remains the same so since i am repeating the same steps again i've put it in a fast forward mode you can uh, change the settings in your video and put it uh, change the speed of this video if you want to see it in a uh, much slower or uh, faster pace so we're going to slip stitch over these uh, four chains and then we are going to slip stitch back into the front loop here again and after that we're going to chain one and trim off the yellow yarn and now we're going to place some knots or if you want you can stitch them in as well uh, through a few of the existing stitches of in the yellow section so there is no hard and fast rule on how you want to hide the tail yarn uh, you can place some knots dab a bit of glue and just leave it as it is or you can try to stitch them in into a few of the existing stitches so i'll be placing a dab of glue later on as of now i'm just trimming off after placing a few knots now we're going to uh, stitch the front section of the lily so for that i'll be using this uh, long tail yarn and thread it uh, into a needle and then i'm going to so the first thing that uh, i want to do is because i want this joint portion to look more smooth that is the join of this front part of the flower to the main body of the flower so i'll just pass a stitch in this manner so that this part becomes more secure and then i'll just thread it through few of the border stitches till i reach the point from where i want to start connecting the uh, both the parts of the flower so i'm just passing through few of the uh, border stitches here now let me first stitch in this other tail yarn in off white uh, to mostly stitch in or hide the tail yarns i take it to the back of the flower and pass it through this bunch of stitches and then i trim it off so after that trim it off trim off this green tail yarn as well and now i feel i have reached a section where i can connect both the both sections uh, of the front part of the flower so i pass the needle through both the sides and pull through them and make few stitches until the entire front section is fully closed and once it is fully closed i can stitch in or place a knot 
and then stitch in this tail yarn through a few of the existing stitches and trim it off so as you can see the flowers here are ready now i have kept two long tail yarns in green and using them i'm going to make the uh, branches or the stems you can say for the flower so it is very easy to make these stems there is no hard and fast rule of how i am going about making this uh, uh, stems you just need to slip stitch through few of the stitches if you want a straight a stem you can just uh, slip stitch in a straight manner i'm just going uh, towards the side because i want it a bit curved so i'm just going to make few slip stitches so to make the slip stitches you just have to insert the hook into a stitch and grab the green yarn on the back side and then make a slip stitch on the front side of the coaster so insert your hook grab the green yarn and make a slip stitch so after making a few slip stitch i want to add a leaf uh, you can skip the step if you are just happy adding only the stems so to make the leaf what i'm going to do is right after this slip stitch i'm going to pull this green yarn under it to the front side of the coaster and once it is on the front side you can use this as a normal crochet uh, yarn and you can make some stitches using it so i'm going to fir um, first make a chain of seven for the leaf so make a chain of seven one two three four five six seven now starting from the second chain from the hook make first a slip stitch then into the next stitch make one single crochet now into the next stitch make one half double crochet now make a double crochet into the next stitch followed by another half double crochet and then a single crochet in the last stitch and now you're going to uh, slip stitch uh, the remaining part of the stem so what you're going to do is you're going to through the same stitch insert your hook through the bottom and pull the tail yarn to the other side because whenever you want to make the slip stitches you're going to have the yarn on the other side so now again for the remaining part of the stem or the branch uh, you're going to uh, make the slip stitches in a similar manner so insert your hook into the next uh, stitch and grab the yarn on the back side and make a slip stitch so you can make any patterns using it as you have seen in one of the coasters i have uh, gone in a spiral made it in a spiral form uh, this one i'm just going to slip stitch until i reach the border of the coaster so i'm just going to reach the other end or the uh, border of the coaster once i reach the border i just uh, chain one and then i trim off now here one flower with the uh, branch uh, and the leaf is done now i want to connect this uh, you can make a separate uh, branch and stem for the second flower or you can connect it uh, like uh, they are part of the same branch so here i'm just going to make few stitches until i reach the other branch and once i reach the other branch i'm going to just make the last stitch over the green over a green stitch here and then i'm going to try, pull the yarn to the front side Pull, an, uh, pull it tight to make a knot and then trim off now here the coaster with along uh, with the branches and leaves are done we just have to stitch in the green uh, tail yarn so to stitch the green tail, uh, tail yarn pull it to the back side and on the back side pull it through a few of the existing stitches and you can dab a, a bit of glue uh, to the ends to make them secure so similarly for the other green yarn also pull it on to the uh, existing stitches and then trim off 
and you can dab a bit of glue to make sure that the ends do not come off so once you're done with this what you can do is you can leave it as it is or you can also use a stiffening spray so i've got this uh, stiffening spray from amazon link to which is in the description you can spray it over and uh, shape it uh, like you want i also placed a heavy pan on top of my other coasters to make sure that the shape is held properly so here these two are with two flowers in it and this third one having a single flower so you can make them in a different uh, uh, combination of colors you can change the background of the coaster to your choice of colors and see which works out better i really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notification on new videos and give me a thumbs up if this video was useful and leave me any comments that you would like to share with me thank you very much for watching and have a great day guys